Hey guys, welcome back again for a new video and in this video I am going to tell you how to do keyframe animations using constraint layout and constraint sets. So firstly let's look at what the application looks like. So this is our application when we start the application this is the activity we are going to see and if we tap on this layout then we are going to see this uh, thing here that is the animation happens and the image zooms in and this button flows in from the top left corner and this uh, text view flows in from the right side and then this text view flows in from the bottom of the screen if i click it on again then we see that the image zooms out back and the text views and the buttons are gone and now if i click it on again then we see the same animation as before so this is what we are going to create in this video and without wasting any time let's jump into android studio and see how it's done so here i've created a new project with an empty activity and here i've pasted in some drawables that is the explanation for the zoom effect of the image view and then how the constraint set works and then this image that is the space uh, space.jpg file which will be used in our image view and this image i've downloaded from pixabay.com where you can find royalty free images to use in your project so let me close this space.jpg file so now basically what are keyframe animations in keyframe animations you need to provide in two frame one is the starting frame and the second one is the ending frame and then the animation happens between those two frames that is it transitions from one frame to another frame but in android we do not have any frames but we do have layout so basically here our frame starting frame would be layout 1 and the ending frame would be layout 2 so now let me open this how constraint set works and here you can see the two frames that is the activity main.xml and the activity main detail.xml and the transition happen between these two frames that is the these two layouts so in the activity main.xml we see that the button is off center the screen and this text view is also not shown because it is placed outside the right edge of the constraint layout that is the root layout and you should note one thing that you should be only using constraint layout as the root layout because this constraint set works with only constraint layout and no other layout that is uh, whether it should be a linear layout or a relative layout it doesn't work with them it only works with constraint layout and now in the activity main detail.xml we see that the button is placed here somewhere in on the screen and this text view is placed here and this bottom text view is placed here and as we can see that we have the same views in both the files but only the difference between the two files is that we have only different constraints for each of the views that is we can see here that this button is pinned it, its bottom is at the top of our root layout and its right is at the left of our root layout but here the button is placed somewhere here and its constraints are accordingly and similarly for this text view and this text view so enough talking let me go to activity main.xml and show you how it's done exactly so let me close this and let me open activity main.xml and here what i'll do so firstly let's create a new uh, resource file in the layout folder and it should be a layout resource file and let's name it activity main detail and the root element should be constraint layout and now let's click on ok and let me close this main activity or java so now firstly what we are going to do we are going to design this layout that is the activity main detail.xml layout and then we'll be changing our activity main.xml file so now to make this layout let's go to our activity main detail.xml so as we can see we have a button here so our button is placed here and we have a text view here at the bottom so let's place that text view and another text view at the bottom so now firstly let's uh, center this text uh, center the both text views horizontally so i'll select both the views and center them horizontally now let me pin this bottom text view to the bottom of our layout and let's give it a margin of 16 dps and now let's change the text appearance to be display 2 and now let's rename this that is about saturn and for this text view let me copy some text for uh, about jupiter and let me paste it here and let's change the text appearance to be medium and then what i'll do i'll drag this bottom of our text view to the top of our about saturn text view and let's give it a margin of say 16 dps or say 32 dp and now what i'll do i'll constrain these buttons left mark uh, left anchor to the left anchor of our root layout and let's give it a margin of 16 dps 
and let's constrain it tops to the top of our parent and let's give it a margin of 128 dp and now this button will say visit now so now let's go to the xml file and let's select this text view and here i'm going to provide some padding of 16 dps like this and now let me and i have a typo here so let's change this to now and now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy all this inside the activity main.detail.xml file by pressing command c and then let's go to our activity main.xml and let's copy all this and let's paste that xml file inside our activity main.xml file so here you can see that we have both the xml files with the same layout so now what i'm going to do i'm going to change the constraints of all these layouts so firstly uh, let me remove all the constraints by pressing this button here and it will delete all the constraints in the layout and now what I'm going to do I'm going to take it the bottom text view stop to the bottom of our parent like this so it is co constrained here and then I'll right click this view and I'll center it horizontally in the parent and now I'm going to select this text view I'm going to right click and I'm going to constrain I'm going to center it vertically inside the parent and then I'm going to take the left of this text view and I'm going to pin it to the right of our parent. So our text view is here some floating somewhere here and now I'm going to take this button and I'm going to drag this bottom of our button to the top of our parent. Now to constrain it to the right of the parent so let's go to the XML file again and here let's go to the parent and here I want to constrain its right to left of parent like this and we can see we have our button here and we have our this text view here and this text view here uh, somewhere here yes so now let's go to our main activity.java file and here what I am going to do I am going to firstly create a boolean which will keep a track of whether the details are shown or hidden so is shown equal to false initially and now what I'm going to do I'm going to create two constraint sets that is to keep the constraints of both the layouts so constraint set show equal to new constraint set and then we need to have a, another constraint set that is constraint set hide which will keep the constraints when the details are hidden so and it will be again new constraint set and let me also create an instance of our layout so constraint layout layout and we can find this layout before finding in the layout let me go to our activity main.xml file and let me define an id for this layout and its id should be layout so now what i'm going to do inside my main activity i'm going to find that layout layout equal to find view by id r.id.layout like this and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back again inside my activity main.xml file and here I want to click an on click listener to this layout. So on click handle show detail and this method I will create inside main activity. Create handle show detail in main activity and since we have created two constraint sets that is the constraint set show and constraint set hide. So what you can do, you can get the constraint set hide by using this constraint set hide dot clone and here you need to pass in your layout and that is the layout and then when you want to get the constraints of the details uh, layout you can get that from constraint set show dot clone and here you need to pass in the context and then you need to pass in the layout id and now let's go to our method that is the handle show detail method and here i am going to use this class that is transition manager dot begin delete transition and here you need to pass in the layout that is the root layout and then we'll make a if check that is if the details are shown then we are going to hide the hide details else we'll show the details and now to hide the details what you need to do you want to get the constraint set of the hidden views 
that is constraint set hide dot apply to layout and now if you want to show the detail, details what you want to do you want to get this constraint set that is the constraint set show dot apply to again you pass in the layout and now if we run our application we can get the animation which you want to have so initially nothing is shown and if i click on this we see that we have the similar animation working and we cannot click it on again because we have not inverted the boolean variable that is is shown should be equal to not is shown and now if we run this again we see that is it is working now now let's go into the part two of the video that is the handling the zoom animation of the image so that is also very simple so now to make the zoom animation let's go to activity main.xml file and we'll introduce our image view so let's provide in the image view at the very top so that it's at the bottom of all the views so for the width we should provide in 0 dp for the height again 0 dp and let's provide in an id so id would be equal to image view and then we need to provide in the source and source can be at dropple forward slash space that is the image we have copied and then let me give it some constraints so it's left to left of parent it's right to right of parent it's top to top of parent and it's bottom to bottom of parent and let's change the scale type also scale type will be center crop so we have our image view here and let me copy this image view from here and let me go to activity main detail dot xml and now let's paste it inside here and we can see our image here now firstly let me change the color of these two text views that is the details text view so let's change the text color to add android color white and let me also change the color of this bottom text view so that it's visible and we need to paste these colors inside the activity main.xml file also so let me paste it here and let me paste it here now let's go back to activity main detail.xml file and now to make the zoom animation you might be thinking that why can't we provide a negative margins that is we can provide a negative margin somewhere here to move the image to the right and then some negative margin here on the left but as you know or if you don't know then constraint layout doesn't work with negative margins you can ho you can have margins from zero and above and there are no negative margins in constraint layout so to constrain this image outside the bounds of the root layout what you can do you can use a trick here so let me open this explanation zoom.png and here this is the root layout that is the parent layout and you need to create four dummy views that is the dummy top view and left view and the bottom view and the right view and these all the four views have a height and a width of 128 dps each and the top dummy view is constrained to the top of our root layout this uh, left dummy view is constrained to the left and this right dummy view is constrained to the right and so for the bottom and then we can constrain the top of the image view to the top of our top dummy view and similarly for the left right and bottom so let's do that inside activity main detail.xml and here i'm going to create in those views so width would be 128 dp and height would be again 128 dp and let's give it an id id would be dummy top and then we need to center it horizontally so we can right click here and center horizontally in parent and then we can provide in another constraint that is bottom of this view to top of parent so that this view is somewhere here now let me create the bottom view so view height and width would be again 128 dp and then let me provide in an id for this view 
and it should be dummy bottom and it should be centered horizontally again so right click center horizontally in parent and then it's top to bottom of parent so that it is placed here and now let me create the left view so view 128 dp with 128 dp height id should be dummy left and then we'll constrain it vertically in the center and then we need to constrain its right to the left of the parent so right to left of parent and now let me copy this again and let's just paste it here let me change its id to dummy right and then we need to remove this constraint and we need to provide in another constraint that is the left of this view to right of our parent so that it is placed here and then what we need to do we need to change the constraints of the image view according to these views so bottom to bottom of dummy bottom left to left of dummy right sorry dummy left and then right to right of dummy right and top to top of dummy top And now one thing is remaining that both the layout should have the same number of views and same with same IDs. And even though activity main.xml doesn't use these views, but it should have those views to calculate the constraint sets. So let me copy these views and let's go to activity main.xml and let me paste it below the image view. And now let's run our application and you'll be having your zoom animation. And now if I click on this layout here we see that the image zooms in and if we click on it again the image zooms out and if you want to get rid of this status bar you can go to values styles and here you need to change in the app theme to no action bar and let's run this again and now it's working completely fine so guys that's all about this tutorial so if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide the link in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day